Pete, you've been in football a long game. You've seen a lot of games like that, I imagine, over the years. Really frustrating afternoon for us. It was it? because um, we created so many chances. Um, but again, if you don't put it in the back of the net, you're not going to win games of football. And that was disappointing. Um, I think early first half, if the one from January had gone in, I think we just need that. Um, but to be fair to them, they blocked so many blocks. Um, and when it went down to 10 men as well, but you know, we're disappointed. We're pleased we're making the chances, but just disappointed we're not just putting them away at the moment. What did you think of the overall performance today? Um, overall, as I say, I haven't seen that many. Um, and the feedback I get is what it's been the last four or five weeks. We've had a lot of the ball, great chances, haven't scored. And then we go to sleep for a split seconds and we get beat 1 0. You made some changes, you put, you played two up front. How did you think that worked today? I thought it worked very well. Early on, we, we, we set about pressing in the middle thirds, which we did. Um, Danny and Josh won a lot of ball in there, and, and Billy Clark, and set, set the two big boys away. Um, that's a couple of chances going in the first half, so getting around the back of them. But, uh, you know, it's just difficult. It's, you know, we, we felt the way to play today. And I felt if we come on winning the game, that had been the right decision. Gary Alexander, your sort of co-manager, yeah. seems to be kicking every ball on that uh, touchline. Yeah, we, we changed it around a bit. Gary said we've got to start with, and me being a bit you know, superstitious that we're nil-nil still. And I feel <laughs> if I start going out there, we might get considered a goal. But <clears throat> we just talked before the game that you know you would be there, and you know we're all there to help each other. And that's what we try to do. Except showed yourself horse today. Yeah, I did a bit on Wednesday in the uh, the kids' game at Eastbourne, and I was suffering a little bit from it, but. Uh, and that's part of what I see over a couple of days I'll be all right. Back on, the training, back on the training ground on Monday, see what happens next week and prepare the side until you're told otherwise for Bristol. Yeah, yeah next week's the FA Cup. Um, you know, we just wanted because we knew it was a two week break and we wanted to finish on the high but going into it and not looking over our shoulder a little bit. But uh, it's the FA Cup, it's an exciting competition and that's what we'll be working on to win the game next week at Bristol Rovers. Because in your other role as head scout, you've seen Bristol Rovers, they've had a good win today against Portland, <coughs> 3 0, so that won't be easy either, will no, it? No, I saw them, as I say, I've seen them in midweek. They, they were watched the game today, so uh, you know, it'll be a hard battle there. They've got a passionate crowd. We've got to go there and, uh, and kill them off a little bit early on. Um, but we're capable of going there and winning the game. Finally, word for the fans who travelled today, hundreds of so came up, made a lot of noise in the second half. They did, half. yeah. You know, it's, it's a difficult situation for them at the moment. You know, we know manager, um, they got me on the, the Gary and myself, and the, and the players, excellent. And again, we're just disappointed for them as well. They've got a trip home and nothing to show for it.